more stress equals more growth. Now, we all know this from the exercise fitness perspective. But let's take it a step deeper. Because that's how we do it over here. You see, the amount of stress you can handle has a direct correlation to the amount of success you can handle. You see, with massive success comes massive stress. For example, let's take lottery winners. Of course, this is not success in the sense, but follow me on this one. You and I both know when lottery winners win, then a couple of years, in a year or two, their back broke. Why? Because with that success came major stress. And this applies to many other areas. Let's look at leadership. Many of us, many people want to be in leadership. When they get in leadership, they realize the stress and that determines whether they succeed or not. You see, if you are someone that doesn't want to go through stress, it's a clear sign that success will be a very fleeting experience. My question to you is, how, how are you when it comes to wanting to handle stress? Are you someone that avoids stress? Are you someone that wants to do certain things a certain way because it will minimize stress? You see, when you have a mentality like that, it seeps into many, if not all, areas of your life. If you're someone that doesn't like stress, you will see it in someone's fitness. This is not an absolute truth. There can be variables. Nothing I say is absolute. It can always be argued from a left side, from a right side. There can always be loopholes in any argument or any opinion that I have. This is my opinion. This is an opinion that helped me. And I'm sharing it with you. Let's get back on track. When you're someone that wants to minimize stress, you will see it in their fitness, number one. You will see it in many other areas of their lives, in their nutrition. Why? Because eating junk food, it comes with a level of ease, a level of satisfaction. You know, there, there's no stress in eating. There's stress associated with eating on a certain diet and having a certain discipline. So I'm not talking about, though, and, and listen to me carefully, I'm not talking about an unhealthy stress because when you have too much unhealthy stress, that's when cortisol, the stress hormone, too much of that stress hormone, hormone causes other ailments in your body. I'm talking about the good stress. I'm talking about going to the gym, the stress in your muscles. Of course, you've got to rest for that to repair. But as you can see, it's all in moderation, all in moderation. I'm talking to you that wants to avoid stress, wants to avoid, why? Because you're lazy, because you're fearful, Frankly, those are the two major reasons. You're lazy and fearful. And this video is a reminder to let you know that 
your success is going to be capped by the amount of stress you're willing to take on. Now, you might be in a situation where you say, Randall, I've seen rich people, or I've seen wealthy people, and I see the stress they go through. And because of that, I don't want to put myself through that stress. And therefore, I deciding, I'm deciding to live just a normal life, just an average life, not anything spectacular in terms of wealth. I don't want that stress of having and making that wealth. If that is you, kudos to you for knowing what you want and how for having that self-awareness. However, I'm talking to those that wants to live an above average life financially, an above average life physically when it comes to being in shape. I'm talking to you. If that is you, I want you to remember, remember this. Stress is your friend. The more stress you can handle, the more success you can handle and maintain. This is my desire for you. My desire is that you might have a healthy relationship with stress, not running away from it, but embracing it, knowing that stress is your friend. And when you have this healthy relationship with stress, you'll then see your fitness, your finances, your relationships stand the test of time and not just survive, but thrive. No? If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And like we just mentioned, know that we are not here just to survive. We are here to thrive. And until next time, peace.